right guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit of my secrets on how you can thicken, liven, and fluff up your hair like never before. Whoa, what's going on there? Come on guys, tame yourselves. Back to where I was. I'm gonna share with you guys my secrets and they're probably not even secrets cause they're all over the internet. I've used these little tips and they work for me so I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys what I do because I mean, can you say thick hair, baby, or can you say thick hair? It's more dry than anything, but let's get started on thicker, fresher, phenomenally. It's phenomenally even a word, is it? All right, uh, why did I do that? The number uno, numero uno on my list is essential oils. I don't know about you guys, but essential oils are amazing. They're great for a plethora of things. And if you guys did not know that, definitely Google it. I mean, you can find so many things on essential oils. Not only do I love making DIY hair masks for my hair, I also love to make little scalp treatments with them. And what I mean by scalp treatments is literally massaging my scalp with these essential oils by mixing in a little bit of coconut oil along with it. What I love to mix together are my favorite. I love using eucalyptus, lavender, and rosemary, and what else? I love using a little bit of clove. I mix these all together, two to three drops, put it in a bowl, and then I put in a little bit of coconut oil and you know, rub it all together, mix it together, and then put it in my scalp, and I just give myself a really nice scalp massage before I get into to the shower. It just helps my scalp feel a lot more fresh. It gives a little bit of that cooling effect and I don't know, I love that stuff. So it feels amazing and I love it. It helps stimulate my hair follicles, gets the blood flowing and of course nutrients rush to the hair follicle giving the follicles what it needs to produce healthy, natural, well, of course natural, but healthy, thick, shiny hair. So that is a total plus. So that's why I love, love, love essential oils. And I highly recommend you guys try that out and see if it makes a difference. Number two on my list is your diet. Yes, guys, diet is super, super, super important. And I'm pretty sure you guys know this stuff already. I told you you guys could find this stuff on the internet. I was not lying. But diet is really, really important. And I cannot stress this enough. Like what you put in your body, you see the results of it on the outside. So if you guys are wanting nice, healthy, thick, shiny hair, then you definitely want to load up on your veggies, load up on your fruits, and load up on your healthy fats, load up on all this stuff because it's so great for your hair, it's so great for your scalp, and not only that, but it's great for your like life, it's great for your health, it's great for all that stuff. And I'm not saying change your diet, just incorporate a little bit more healthy stuff. And it's the easiest thing you can do, guys, is wake up 15 minutes earlier and juice in the morning. You'll see the difference if you continuously do this for a week. Trust me, your skin will look different, your hair will feel different, your scalp will feel so much more fresh, and your hair will just have like this nice volume. It's crazy, trust me. And all you have to do is incorporate more fruits and more veggies. Another thing on my list is water because water just helps hydrate not only your skin and stuff, but also your hair. Believe it or not, water actually helps hydrate each strand from your follicles all the way out to here your body feeds off of water so definitely incorporate water incorporate those veggies and incorporate your foods and I'm telling you life-changing stuff here so let's move on to numero three all right the third thing is shampoo Ooh, shampooing is really important, obviously, in hair care because we obviously do it at least once a week, people, right? I mean, if not, maybe every three days because that's what I do. You don't wanna shampoo your hair way too much because that messes up the pH balance of your scalp and not only that, but then it creates an, an environment where your hair follicles are producing way too much sebum in your scalp, which in turn gives you the excessively oily scalp. One of the shampoos that I love using is this Pura Dior. 
shampoo. I love this stuff. It's a hair loss therapy thickening shampoo and my hair would always be falling. I would be getting clumps in the drain and it would freak me out. I was like, what is going on here? And this guy has been amazing. This uh, actually doesn't have any type of sudding agents where it suds and lathers and stuff. It literally is there is no lather. So if you like lather in your shampoo, then this probably isn't for you. But if you really don't care and you're like, I want to try it out, then, you know, this would probably be wonderful for you. It doesn't have any type of nasty scent or anything of that sort. I mean, looking at the ingredients, the first thing on here is aloe vera leaf juice. I mean, why wouldn't I want to put that all over my hair, right? So this stuff has really good stuff. It says regenerate, revitalize, Thicken and increase volume. I mean, everything is like a check, 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 ding, 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 ding. I mean, we got a winner here. Choose products that have really good ingredients that are great for your scalp health and great for your hair health and do you good in the long run. So that's what I have to say about shampooing. All right, next on my list is this guy this is like my secret weapon this is definitely one of the things that i use to help my hair just be a lot more stronger a lot more healthier and just feed my hair what it needs because that's what this has is exactly what my hair needs it's a ton of herbs and a ton of uh, vitamin stuff mixed together in a perfect blend just in a little pill that you take four times daily and voila you are good to go our last thing is brushing your hair yes brushing your hair is not as good as you think because when you, when you keep brushing your hair you're pulling on your follicles and that weakens your hair follicle and what you get is no more hair because you've damaged that hair follicle. Have you ever heard of the term overplucking and your hair doesn't grow back because you've overplucked that the hairs? It's because your hair follicle is weak and you've damaged it so much that it refuses to grow back. So it's really important that you don't be rough with your hair when you're brushing it and also you don't need to brush your hair that often i remember when i was younger i was in college and i always had to run my fingers through my hair and whenever i didn't i would be like oh where's my brush yes i was the person with a brush in her bag and brushing her hair in school like I don't know why I even did that, but yeah, brushing your hair, make sure you keep it to a minimal because you'll find chunks and chunks and chunks of hair and it's gonna freak you out because it was freaking me out, let me tell you. Just to be on the safe side, don't create any type of stress, any kind of inflammation by brushing or combing your hair. Super simple, super easy, and I'm sure you guys can definitely do that too. So that is pretty much it. Those are all the little things that you can do at home or in your diet and, you know, adding little things in your regimen to help thicken, strengthen, and you know, add a little bit of fluff to your hair. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know if you guys tried this out and it worked and if what worked, what didn't work. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them and maybe try them out for myself. Definitely a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.